All right, y you didn't think I met me in that water. No way. There is no way I'm getting in there. They don't make enough layers. This body's not built for that. And this video is going to be shot, obviously, over periods of time, when I said when the weather was nicer out, but also uh, over the last couple of weeks using this. So you're going to see, uh, I had this idea in my head. I already made a whole bunch of clips, so we'll, we'll piece it all together, try to, you know, put it in a, in a timeline where it makes sense and, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun with it. But uh, one more thing. We finally got a major snowstorm. We haven't had one all last year. We don't usually get them in December, but we got over a foot of snow in certain areas of Rhode Island. So when, uh, when the snow comes out, uh, well, let's just say the fun comes out. People So after a big snowstorm, everybody turns into a 10-year-old again. Just uh, tearing up, having fun. And I think uh, the fact that it's five days before Christmas might have something a little bit to do with it. That Christmas spirit kicking in. Everybody's definitely a kid right now. I don't know, I, I love the snow. I have a fun time with it. Although there's one part, there's a one little part of me that when it snows, I, I do get a little bit, a little bit worried. So every day I come here and feed some strays and unfortunately, with the foot and so of snow we just got, the area where I feed them is buried in. So we're gonna we're gonna dig them out. I think that's as much as we could do. Got the woods shoveled out a little bit, clear path. So wherever they come from, hopefully they're hiding in underneath houses or something. We'll go drop off some food in case any try to travel up here. Problem is trying to find a spot, right? So I don't know how good this is, audio-wise, everything else. Right now I'm shooting with the Osmo action. Hi. Good, they're open. Got some food for them. Got my mask. Tuck my face up underneath my uh, sweatshirt. Grab a can. Let's go pay. I got them against masks. I'm not. Just forgot it. So I stuffed my face under my sweatshirt, which was a little. Hard to do and ridiculous, if you ask me. I'll make sure I got the mask. Alright. Okay, a nice clean prep. Wide open. If they come. I really don't anticipate any coming today, but if they do trek up here, I just want to make sure they got some food. All right, so a little bit of a time jump here. We are uh, many days after. You can see all the snow has melted. And here's a couple of the cats I was talking about. This is Oscar. Hi. Hi, buddy. And behind him is Tux. And then back there you got Gray. And I don't see Mufasa yet or Peggy, but we'll see if they come. And it's flooded. So let's, uh, let's get some food going for these guys.
All right. So yes, I can pet them and I can pick one of them up. So I know you're going to ask, why am I not uh, doing something to get them rescued? And I am. They've already been captured once, maybe even twice, I think one of them has been. They got clipped there, so they've already been spayed and neutered. I'm getting them close to it. Every time I take out the cage to put them into it so I can get them fostered, they don't even come over the fence. They don't come anywhere near me. They recognize the, uh, the cage. I even tried getting the pet carrier and that's not working either. So I'll get them and I will get them fostered home. But I, I, I know what you're thinking and I'm thinking the same thing. I work with a local company, Pause Watch, and we'll get them saved. But in the meantime, this is all them. And people dump cats and it just drives me crazy. It kind of pisses me off to be honest with you. You take on a, uh, a pet, you can't just love it when it's a puppy or a kitten. It's all the way through for life. You're dedicated for life or don't do it at all. So anyway, they're good. They're beautiful cats. And I make sure that their bellies are full so they so they have a chance to survive and do the whole winter. All right. We're in Rhode Island. It's Christmas Eve. Let's show you some Christmas lights that are unique to Rhode Island or some that are around Rhode Island. And uh, we'll end it on a nice happy note. Merry Christmas to all you and your family and Happy New Year. Later. Thank you.